To download and install the free and open source vector graphics editor Inkscape, go to its homepage at inkscape.org. There is a link in the description of this video. Go to the download section, select current version, go to Windows. Unless you know that you have a 32-bit operating system, select 64-bit. If you are not sure, right-click Start, press System, and in System Type, look whether it's 64-bit operating system or 32-bit operating system. You have three options, EXE installer or MSI installer or compressed 7-zip format. If you want to install it, I suggest Windows installer MSI. Click there and wait for two seconds and then it starts downloading. You can then go to the context menu and go to show in folder. Other web browsers have a download interface in the top right section. Here's the installer. Just double click it. Wait for it to calculate if there's enough space. Press next. Agree to the terms. You can easily accept everything. Personally, I like to disable translations because I only like the English version. I usually don't install dictionaries. But you can choose as you like. If you want the interface to be in a different language and you want dictionaries, keep these enabled. I usually remove examples and tutorials, but keep the extensions. I keep Python and definitely Inkscape itself. But if you want to try every single feature, select everything. For me, the default location is just fine. See Program Files Inkscape, but you can change it by pressing Browse here. Press Next and press Install. You will have to give Inkscape Installer admin permissions. If you have these, you can do so. But perhaps you don't have admin rights. I will show you what to do in that case in a second. Once the installer finishes, press Finish. There now is also a shortcut on the desktop for you to use. It might take a few seconds to launch. And here it is. Now, if you don't have admin rights, let's go back to the previous page. If you remember, you go here by going to Download, Current Version, Windows, 46-bit in my case. Now download Compressed Archive in 7-zip format. This can take a while to start, and then of course a while to download. This is a 7-zip file. You have to extract it. I recommend you use 7-zip for that. 7-zip appears in the context menu when you right-click this, or you can double-click it and just drag it in there. I have a video on how to get 7-zip if you don't have it yet. Check that one out. Just like with installing, extracting can take a while. In this folder, there is a bin folder. In this folder, there is an Inkscape exe, or maybe just an Inkscape file if you don't have uh, file name extensions enabled. Double clicking that will start Inkscape. There it is. If you need a shortcut, just right click drag to the desktop and create a shortcut there. Or right click pin to start or pin to taskbar. You might also want to try the latest development version if you want to see new features and possible performance enhancements. But there is always a risk of it being less stable. Let me know in the comments if you need any other kind of help with Inkscape and I hope to see you next time. Until then, ciao!